Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is a video for Corel Draw for the beginner. We've gone through the toolbox and the menu bar and the standard bar, and now we're going to go through the property bar, which is right here. And when you have nothing selected, it has your properties that you can change, like you can change your nudge factor as a laser engraver. I like to keep mine at 0 .001. It tells you your units you're in. You can change them to millimeters or points. I use mine in inches. It can. It tells you that you're looking at your page in landscape versus portrait. It tells you the size of your page, and you can make custom pages. But once you're clicked on something, your property bar becomes different. This is a text, so it's giving me a text property bar. This is a rectangle, so it's giving me rectangle. But also in the property bar, there's a couple of important factors. <clears throat> this is telling you where this is on your page. This is telling you how big it is. The object size is 16.325 long by 4.1. This is a lock ratio. If you wanted to change one of these numbers and make this five, if we type in five, both of them are going to change because this is locked. It's a to make everything equal. If we want to change this to six, well, let's tell you, tell you what, let's make this 20 and we'll unlock the bar and now we can make it 20 and the bar will still be, or the size will still be five. So this is your lock ratio. This is your angle of rotation. You could take that object and rotate it 45 degrees. Let's put that back. You can mirror it from left to right horizontally. You can mirror it vertically. And I think we went over the text the other day. This is your object origin. It's going to mirror it from the center. But if you click over here, it's going to mirror it from that corner. If you put it over here, well, if you put it, let's put it down there, it's going to mirror it from that corner. It doesn't really matter on mirror. It's either this, this row or this row, and then mirroring it vertically, it's this row and this row. So let's check up here and mirror it vertically and see it pops it up. It mirrors it to the opposite. So I keep my object origin right in the middle because if I want to make a duplicate of that and then rotate that to 45 degrees, it's going to do it from the center of the object. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.